Let's talk about capacitors in series. Now, as always, series can be thought of as just meaning no choice. It's just one road available to the charge. So when I have capacitors in series, I draw them just like this. Capacitors look kind of like batteries, except both of the bars are the same length. All right, so we've got a charge on this first capacitor, and it's plus on that side, that means it's minus on that side. Now here's the idea. As I was charging up this series combination of capacitors, all the charge that came on C1 had to be taken from C2 because there was no choice. The charge, if it's coming around like this, it's collecting here, well, it's gotta come around like that. So, charge is the same when I connect capacitors in series. The potential difference will add. Now, this is just like what happens with resistors. When I have resistors in series, the current is the same and the potential difference adds. Here, the charge is the same and the potential difference adds. All right, as always, when we've got a capacitor or a resistor network, what we really want to do is boil it all down to just one capacitor and ask, what's the capacitance of that capacitor in order to have the same potential difference? Well, clearly, the same charge is going to be stored on this effective capacitor and the potential difference across it got to be the same as the potential difference across this combination. All right, so we'll do delta V potential difference equals potential difference across the first one plus potential difference across the second one. Now, with capacitors, potential difference is charge divided by capacitance. So we'll have Q over capacitance series equals Q over capacitance one plus Q over capacitance two. At this point, since the charge is the same, we're gonna cancel him out. And that gives us the following expression for adding capacitors in series. Notice that I can't just add the capacitance. They add in reciprocal. So this is exactly the same thing that we saw for resistors added in parallel. So parallel and series are gonna switch places as far as adding capacitance is concerned. All right, so just like with resistors added in parallel, when I add another capacitor, the overall capacitance decreases, all right? So you add another capacitor, your overall capacitance goes down, it doesn't go up. And you can just think about this in terms of, if I had these guys and I didn't have the one in the middle, then you can kind of think, well, geez, the plus and the minus are closer together. So it's like reducing that distance. So then when I add in the capacitance in the middle, it's like pushing it apart. So that means that the capacitance goes down, not up. And that's something very counterintuitive that it's easy to get messed up with. All right, now, adding these things is a little bit of a hassle because you've got to do fractions if you're gonna do it by hand. So, there are two things that people generally do. First thing, if it's only two, they don't write the formula that way, they write it this way. So you just multiply, you add, and then you divide, all right? That might not be something that's easy for you to remember, but it will work when there's only two. The way that I've often um, really pushed uh, with my students is this way. Suppose that I've got three of them that I wanna add. So here's what I'm gonna type in my calculator. Three, negative one, plus two to the negative one, plus one to the negative one, and then equals, or execute, or whatever it is on your calculator, and then answer to the negative one equals. Now, if you do that in this case, what you'll end up with is 0 0.5454 farads. And one thing to keep in mind about this is that this number is smaller than any of these three. 
It will always come out that way if you do it right. If you forget to do this last piece, it will come out wrong and you'll immediately see that. And you won't just pick that choice and go on to the next problem. So when you add capacitors in series, the net capacitance always goes down. It's always less than any one of these capacitors that you've got. All right, and then the last thing to think about in terms of capacitors connected in series is that the smallest capacitor will store the most energy, okay? Um, and that's because charge is the same and energy is Q squared over 2C. So when C gets small, energy gets big. All right, those are capacitors in series.